everyone welcome to my channel good morning this is another vlog my name is Adeze and this is my space so yeah today I have a lot of stuff to do I woke up like an hour ago and I've just been in my room taking my time before I go out and join my kids <laughs> I've been taking my time so yeah I decided to just vlog today um, I just finished watching a video that um, Nezerville posted yesterday. If you guys don't know who Nezerville is, she's a YouTuber here on YouTube. Name of her channel is Nezerville. So yesterday she posted a video and the video is about her worst mistakes in marriage. Okay, her worst mistakes in marriage. So I decided that I'm going to do the same video, but just talk to you guys about my mistakes while I vlog. Okay, I don't want to just sit down and, you know, start listing out the points. Because <laughs> they're not a lot actually for my, for my own case, but... I just wanted to, you know, discuss it with you guys, tell you guys about my own mistakes and hear from you guys if you're already married, what are the mistakes you've, you've made so far and you've corrected and other than all that, okay? But now I need to go and, I've brushed my teeth, I need to have my bath, I need to do my makeup, I need to go and film another video and then after that I will go to the market, yes, come back and cook and what else what else what else anyway my birthday is coming up and to be honest let me not even lie see i'm not in the mood to do anything i've this is how that's always been with me every single year every single year i look forward to my birthday but the week of my birthday i'm like nah i can't i can't be bothered i can't be bothered okay <laughs> if just that this year i have to do it with um gender review so that's why i'm even putting a little bit of effort and you know trying to invite people and all that but as at sunday I was telling myself, I'm not inviting nobody. I'm going to just pretend like my birthday is not on, on Saturday. And once the birthday pass, passes, I'll be fine. But yeah, so I need to start making preparations for my birthday. But maybe from Thursday, maybe from tomorrow. Anyway, so yeah, let me not ramble on too much. Let me go and check on my kids uh, while I tell you guys my worst mistakes that I've made in my marriage so far. So if you guys don't know, I've been in marriage for nine years yes i'll be nine years this year december and i've been with my husband for 10 years so i have a, a thing or two to say okay i have a thing or two to say but some things that I, i'm not going to mention some things because she's already mentioned this in that her video so if you want to know what i'm talking about you can just go ahead to her channel and go and watch the video okay but yeah so let me check on my kids and i'll be right back what do you say What did you say? Yeah. Eva, what did you say? Good morning, mommy. Good morning. What are you doing this morning? You are watching Peppa Pig. So, have you brushed your teeth? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. You, have you brushed your teeth? No. Uh -uh. Have you arranged your room? Yes. Did you pray? Did you pray? Yes! You prayed? Mm -hmm. I pray. Let's hear, let's hear your prayer. Pray for us. I pray for us. Now? Yes, now. I don't want to pray. Pray for us now. Let's hear how you pray. I don't want to pray. Oh yeah, if Cora, pray for us. Let's hear how you pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord of thank you for morning. Daddy, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, mommy, how hmm? You want to pray now? No. Pray, let's hear how you pray now. No. Did you lay your bed? Mm. Are you sure you did not lay your bed? I'm actually that laid this for you. Lady. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, where are you running to? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. In Becky Dada. A Becky Nage. Say a Becky Nage. A baking a jay. A baking a jay. Say a baking a jay. Baking a jay. Eva. Mommy. Say, say a baking a jay. Mommy, I want to sit on your leg. Yeah, sit on your I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do much. My skin is not popping, but I really don't care. Like, I really don't care right now. You guys, everybody knows that I'm pregnant, please. Eh? You all know that I'm pregnant, so anyhow you see my face, take it like that. Let me just do my eyebrow, shall yeah? So yeah, speaking of my mistakes that I made in marriage, the first one that ah, this one comes to mind all the time. <laughs> I don't even like remembering it. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I first got married or in my early years of marriage was 
saying some really dumb stuff when I'm angry. Like, you know, especially when you have a partner who doesn't give much of a reaction when you guys are having arguments. My mother not a person that when you're arguing with him, he'll start talking or he'll show that he's angry or he's sad or whatever or he gets hit. Not that kind of person normally. Except if you guys are having normal banter, normal argument, my mother can actually get really loud and you know you know expressive to argue his point. But when it comes to real fights, when it comes to real arguments, it's not the kind of person that will say much. She will just be looking at you or she may not even be responding and it's so annoying sometimes. But I want to just know what is in your mind so that I can tell you what is in my mind and then we'll, we'll come to a middle ground. But he's not that kind of person. So, in order to get a reaction from him, in order to, let me not say hurt him, but in order to pinch him, pinch him so that he can say something back, I will now say some of the dumbest things ever. Oh my God. The dumbest things ever. In, like, I've said some things that he might have forgotten about them, but anytime I remember them, even till now, I'm just like, why did I say that? Why, why did you have to open your mouth and talk such trash, okay? So, those are one of some of the mistakes that I wish I hadn't made. I wish I had controlled myself better. I wish, now I'm getting the hang of it. I'm, I'm not still perfect though. That doesn't mean that tomorrow, if you don't annoy me, I won't still say rubbish. I, I might, but I won't say... I won't say, I won't say some kind of things that I said, in, in, you know, earlier when we got married and it took me a little while for me to realize that I'm kind of person that after I finish saying it I still regret it but it took me a while to realize that it is actually very very bad for you to do that okay now why I say this is that I noticed that some most times I think my mother said in my, my, my previous video most times after we have an argument my husband doesn't find it easy to move on from the argument. Me, after I finish arguing, like, in fact, while we're arguing, self, I can even change my mind and be like, I'm, I'm done with this argument, okay, and start laughing with you. But him, because of the kind of things I have said to him, he will now internalize them and now start thinking about them, you know, it will make him moody, it will make him find it hard to readjust his attitude, you know, to become friendly with me again or start laughing with me again. So, Ah, I know that women are guilty of this, okay? So just try and control your mouth, okay? Just because you are angry doesn't give you the, you know, the leverage or it doesn't give you the right to say some really nasty things towards your partner because remember, you cannot take your words back, okay? You can't take your words back. Thank God for Christianity. Thank God for the love of God in our hearts. Thank God for forgiveness, you know? So, I mean, as Christians, as we are expected to forgive each other and especially if you love each other, you're expected to forgive each other and, you know, live with each other. So, thank God for that. If not, <laughs> this marriage will not end since. If I don't end, <laughs> because, yeah, so, I'm being, I'm being a hundred percent, I'm being, I'm being 100 with you guys. When you are angry, if you're a woman, that does that kind of thing. Some women even say worse than I have ever said. If I'm sure if I say some of the things that I've said, some of you will be like, uh -uh, is that all? Is that what is even? <laughs> if you hear my own, you 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 will faint. <laughs> you know, yeah. So whatever degree, you know, your own might be worse. Your own might not be that bad. But just try and bridle your tongue, okay? The, even the Bible says, "Be angry, but do not sin." Okay? You don't have to listen more and speak less. Okay? Listen more and speak less. So what I've learned now is, if I'm talking and he's quiet, me too. I, I, I keep quiet, and all of us will just forget about it. Maybe when we are both calmer, we can now address the issue. But you see that anger of, you know, you are talking and the person is not responding and then you now start saying more things and saying more things and piling it up and piling it up. That thing is really, really terrible. And one thing about a lot of men, they are not good at insulting. Anyway, I'm not insulting. I don't, I'm not someone that will start. I, I'm, I'm, I, I hardly insult people. You will never hear me in an argument fighting and telling somebody you're mad, you're stupid, you're crazy, you don't have sense, you're stay. No, I'm not that insultive. But I say some things that... Are really hurtful things like I don't want to give any example, Sha. So I put no, I don't know, I don't want to say too much, but just I say some things that are really, really not necessary. Like you don't have to say that, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to express some kind of emotions just because you are angry. Anyway, he who has ears, let him hear. Abby, if you have sense, you would you you decipher what I just said, okay? <laughs> if you don't understand, then. I don't know, I can't explain more than that because I don't want to talk too much about the details of my marriage but all I'm saying, and I've said a lot, is that just try and not talk too much try and not say some things, you know? it's not necessary because remember, this person is still your partner it's not like 
you say those things and then you walk away, he'll walk away and that's the end. No, that is still your partner. In fact, even if you have if you have kids, even if you guys break up, the person is still in your life till, till forever. It's not even till 18. It's forever. The person is still in your life. So just be careful about the things you say when you are angry. So another thing that this is my eyebrows. Now you Sakasha, I know how you want to be B. Another mistake I made in my first few years of marriage. This one is not everybody that you know can relate to this, but when I was going through my infertility journey, I spent so much time dwelling on my journey than enjoying my marriage. Okay, I spent so much time feeling sorry for myself, you know, trying to get pregnant, trying to this, trying to that than just actually enjoying my husband and enjoying my marriage okay so that's one thing i wish i can take back like <laughs> because once the children say hey, come in like that many things i can't do anymore should i rub powder oh i don't think i want to rub but let me just rub shall I just to hey guys finish my makeup this is my hair i don't understand what's going on with it though the hair is too puffy <laughs> i washed it yesterday maybe two days ago Maybe I would put mousse on it and weigh it down a bit because it's just too poofy for my liking. For my liking. Okay, I'm ready to film right now. I will talk to you guys later. This room is echoing. Oh, normally I used to bring a mattress and keep it here so that the room doesn't echo as much. But I don't want to stress my marriage now because it's when I'm going to bring it. So I'm not going to go carry that mattress. Ah, maybe I'll just call her to help me. I'm sure she doesn't mind, but. I don't want to stress her, she's losing Cora's hair. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do when I want to film. I adjust my camera, check myself, check myself before I start. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh, let's see. Is this thing centered? Not sure. No, no, it doesn't look straight to me. Who image does not look straight to mine? So guys, I just finished filming my video and I remember something, okay? In my last video, I talked about a baby list and, you know, chin chin recipe, okay? For the chin chin recipe, I'm going to make a video about it. So I'll just show you guys how to make it and tell you guys the recipe and that's it, okay? So I don't want to be, to be chatting people one by one and be explaining it over and over again. So I'm going to make a video very soon, like next week. I'm going to make a video. I'll do the chin chin live and I'll share the recipe in the, com in the description box. And for the baby list, please just send me an email and I'll just reply with the list, okay? If you leave your email in the comment section, I am not going to be able to start copying emails one by one and sending to them. Just send me an email and I'll just reply. Just send an email. The title of your email should be baby list or something, newborn baby list, okay? Once I see the email, I know that you're asking for the list, I'll just reply and send you the list directly, okay? I've already sent to a couple of people who sent me emails and DMs, but I prefer emails because on DMs, the list is too long to copy and paste once. Yeah, um, I need to go to market right now, but first of all, I'll find what to eat. Basically, I just eat oats in the morning. I really don't, I just eat oats in the morning. Like, it's just, it's just what I eat in the morning. Like, I don't have any reason for it. It's not like it's something I'm craving, but it's just the easiest thing for me to eat in the morning. So, yeah, so, see you guys later. Hi guys, good morning. So, I think after I told you guys, oh, this place is too bright. After I told you guys that I was, this TV is on, imagine these children. So yeah, after I told you guys yesterday that I was going to eat, I think after eating, I edited my video small and I slept off and that was it, okay? I couldn't vlog anymore. But yeah, this morning I'm going downstairs now to wash, <sighs> so tired. I'm going downstairs now to wash Cora's hair, Cora, um, we now wash Cora's hair outside because I cannot stand for too long. <sighs> Let's catch my breath. So yeah, I was saying that I can't stand long enough to wash Cora's hair because she has a lot of hair on her head and I have to wash and deep condition and then rinse off and then moisturize and condition again with leave-in conditioner and then seal with butter and everything and everything. So it takes a long process so I can't possibly stand and do everything. In my condition, I normally I used to stand and do it. So now we start we start washing her hair downstairs outside. I think I've done it once or twice before, but now permanently it's now downstairs outside. I will wash her hair. I sit on a plastic chair while she sits on a smaller chair. So that's what I'm going to do now. They've been waiting for me for a while, but I wanted to have my bath so that after I wash her hair and um, do all the moisturizing and everything, I'll just pack it and then we'll go. Okay. So 
Yeah, of course my breath. So how are you guys doing? Um, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. And then after I am done, I'm going to tell you guys my next marriage mistake. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, you're going to like it. <laughs> Kara. Eva. You're playing sand. Yes, we are playing sand. It's time for you to wash your hair and have your bath. Hmm? Eva, uh, what are you making? Indomie. You're making indomie. Okay, I'd love to eat your indomie. No, that is the sand. Oh, I should not eat the sand. Uh -huh. I thought you said you are doing indomie. Um, tight. I should make it tight. Hey guys, so I'm done with Eva's Cora's hair. I mean, see Cora's hair. Cora looks like a bum mad pretty. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a bum mad. I did thread for her just to stretch her hair so that tomorrow I can, you know, do really nice styles with her natural hair so that we can take pictures. And then this one is Eva. See, Eva refused to finish her hair. See, Eva, Eva refused to finish her hair. We did only two. We did only two at the back, and that was it. Why do you refuse to finish your hair? She... She don't... Hmm? She just wanted to go out. Come on, look at my hair. It's not beautiful, it's still fluffy. Mm-hmm. me down. Uh, put it down. <coughs> Yeah, so um, I'm supposed to go to the supermarket with them and yeah, I'll be leaving soon. But I need to discuss my third, yeah, this is the third biggest mistake I made in my early years of marriage, okay? And this one, I won't really say it's a mistake because the, the people always advise um, couples not to do this. So I knew not to do it. But at the same time, to me, it depends on, anyway... The mistake is telling my parents about issues between me and my husband, okay? Now, why I say, people always advise couples, don't tell your parents, don't tell your family members about whatever is going on between you and your husband, it's between both of you, this, that, this, that. Yes, I understand that concept, but at the same time, I don't think it is bad to tell your parents, especially if you trust your parents, and if your parents are good people, they are Christians, they are educated, Yes, sentiments are still going to enter, emotions are going to be there, you're their daughter, they see you as their, their life. When I hear women say things like, if they have any issues with their husbands, their family members support their husbands, I'm like, really? In my own case, it's, it's opposite, like, opposite. In fact, in my parents' eyes, I can do no wrong. I don't know how somebody will put another person's child over your own child, I don't know. Even if my child is wrong, yes, if my child is wrong, I think my child you are wrong. But doesn't mean I'm going to support the husband in your presence, I'm, I'm sorry, or in his presence. I won't support him in his presence. I'll still tell him where he messed up in his presence. But behind his back, when I come out, I'll be like, nee, you know, so you too, you messed up, or your husband was actually right or something. Anyway, so, I talk a lot. I talk a lot. I talk a lot. I talk a lot. For someone who doesn't talk a lot, I actually do talk a lot. <laughs> anyway, so, when... I first got married. To me, the, the only people that I'm 100% sure have my back and I'm 100% sure are going to, you know, be there for me are my parents. So, there are some things I told them about that I don't regret. They, they need to know. For me, parents need to know some things about their children. So, yeah, I don't regret those ones. But the ones that I, some other things that I said, I wish I hadn't told them simply because my husband changed, like, 
from that kind that person that things he used to do then that were really really annoying to me he changed okay he's not the same man i married i keep saying this my brother is not the same man i married i'm not the same woman he married over time we've learned to adjust we've changed so much my husband's like i actually give him props because he has changed a lot there's so many things now that he does now or he tolerates now or he allows now simply because of me not because that's his p not not because um he's not okay with those things but he just he's just trying to accommodate his wife okay same thing with me so those things that he wasn't accommodating then or that were annoying me then i told my parents about it and somehow even though they know he has changed they they, they will be quick to think that you know he's still that kind of person like if anything happens and they hear it their mind is going to be that he's still that person that is still his mindset you know that kind of thing anyway the way i'm saying this people think it's something serious it's nothing it's not really big things that are very serious but these are little things that affect your relationship with somebody for instance um if you had uh maybe okay let's say you had i don't know what kind of example i can give now let's say you have an in-law who was very Okay, let's say you have an in-law who insults a lot, okay? It's, it's, I'm, it's not, I'm not using, my husband is not an person, so I'm not talking about myself, I'm just using as an example. So let's say you have, a, um, your husband used to insult a lot, okay? And your parents know that he's someone that insults a lot, okay? Now, even when he changed from being insultive, if they're having a normal conversation and he jokes, maybe some kind of joke that doesn't go the way they want, they'll see it as he's still being insultive. Do you understand? They have, they'll forget that you know, he's no more an insulting person and this, one, this is just a normal joke that everybody makes. But because it's coming from him, who they thought they know to be or who they used to think was a very insulting person, they're not going to take that joke lightly, okay? Do you guys understand? So that's what I'm trying to say. So some things about some, some, your, some of your um, spouse's flaws or your spouse's, um, you know, shortcomings, I think you should keep some of them to yourself. So those people who advise that you shouldn't tell your parents everything, they are right but like i said in my own case actually for instance if your mother is your best friend as well like i can tell your mother something so that's how i see sha actually if your mother if not your mother is a logical level-headed person who is a christian who understands marriage you know she's in a happy home you know she she's 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 been in a happy home like she, she loves her husband her husband loves her and they're in a happy home i don't think such parents will want to come and you know do anything that will hurt your own marriage okay they are also going to come from a level from an from an angle of you know experience and you know morals and respect and christianity and love and all that and forgiveness that's going to come from that angle so it's not really going to hurt your marriage to tell them some things because me my father now advises people about marriage he even wrote a book about marriage understanding marriage um, I think I'll look for a link to that his book and I'll put it in the description box. He has a book, Understanding Marriage. So if my father is sort of a marriage counselor, he's helping people, you know, mend their marriages, he's helping people, you know, do right in their homes, he's helping men be better husbands, then is it not me that will now not, you know, take advantage of that, his um, wealth of knowledge or and experience? Is it not me that will now not take advantage of it and, you know, use it to mend my own marriage, okay? So, that's why I said it, it still depends. It depends on the marriage, it depends on the family, it depends on the, um, um, the relatives, and it also depends on the situation. So, some things I shouldn't have told them, but other things that I told them, I'm very happy that I told them. Like, there's no other person I should have told, <laughs> I mean, in my own case, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. My next video might be my birthday vlog or gender review or whatever. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!